Hello, welcome, one and all, to the very first ever episode of Before Breakfast Podcast. My name is Dustin Goldie, and sitting across from me is my half-asleep, maybe-dead brother, Jesse. Jesse, how are you? I'm tired. <laughs> um, no, I'm good. It's good. I'm ready. That's good. Okay. Yeah. So nobody knows who we are uh, because we have not had an internet presence ever. Um, would Would you say that's correct? Um, no, I'd say that's incorrect. Um, you had a thousand followers on Vine, you know? Oh yeah. Uh, actually, that was because that was because uh, I followed all of them. I that was not because I it was good. Oh, well, I was under the uh, impression that you actually were good at something. <laughs> no, I, was, I was very bad. <laughs> um, but other than that, I mean... Other than that, we haven't had any scrubs. experience. Yeah. This is new. Fresh. Fresh. Uh, and this is already starting out very slowly. Yeah, I can, I can tell that yeah. you're going to get some flack for this. Uh, I don't know about flack. But yeah, that's right. Actually, who's watching? Not a lot of attention. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I can see you've got a Star Wars mug. I do. Star Wars is one of my favorite um, movie series. Um, actually, we totally forgot um, to talk about what this podcast is even about. <clears throat> yeah, that's probably necessary for anybody that's listening. So who, for whoever's listening, um, Jesse and I are brothers, in case you didn't hear. Um, and we decided to just do this podcast because everybody's got one. You know, why not? It's free. Let's do it. Uh, what this podcast is going to be geared towards is just really talking about anything in life, really. Anything and everything. Anything and everything. You, you name know. it, we'll probably talk about it. And um, before breakfast. Yeah, right now it is uh, five o'clock in the morning and I'm dog tired. Dog tired. After a dog has been chasing a car for three blocks. I'm sure that's their, once they hit that third block, it's, I cannot go another step. <laughs> <clears throat> so we're three minutes in. We've got a whole hour of this. <laughs> uh, Anyways, so how is it going for you? Uh, good. Um, I just got out of bed. Uh, that's just about it. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, <laughs> How was the drive over here? Slow. I took it slow. Slow. Okay. The, um, air, the uh, heater was nice. That's good. It was um, kind of nippy out. So for those listening, uh, when we started talking about having a podcast, uh, I told Dustin it has to be at my house or we're not doing it at all. And he lives 30 minutes away from me. <laughs> I was not going to meet anywhere in between. I'm not going to meet at his house. I wanted to roll out of bed and put on a pair of headphones. And here we are. And here we are. Um, so for our very first podcast, we are going to talk about new beginnings. First. Fresh starts things first things that you would do first square ones back to the drawing boards the start the start of memories maybe 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 this could be a start of a memory you never know you never know actually it could be start of a very bad memory or a decent one or a forgettable one you're having a very negative outlook on this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I mean, it is the internet. It's got to be those small people that put in those positive uh, things to fair. somewhat um, overlay what you're saying. That's fair. I yeah. am older than Jesse, by the way, in case you couldn't tell. 
by 0. 0.2 milliseconds. We're not twins. He's lying. We're not twins. Uh, anyway, so let's just let's just do it, okay? Let's just go. So, with what we're talking about, um, first time or you know, new beginnings, new memories, things like that. Um, I thought it would be pretty cool to talk about the first time I stargazed. You stargaze. I stargaze. Um, I so, did not know that. So the first time I stargazed was actually with our father. Our father. Our father. That's just another reason why I think that he just likes you more than me. Um, that's false. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, don't actu- I don't actually believe that for the record. He 100% does, and he should. Okay. Um, he, I, I don't know, I was maybe 10 years old. And he took me out to... Ten? Yeah. This was forever ago. Yeah, forever ago. Uh, I've consistently stargazed ever since. Um, Seriously? Seriously. I did not know if you knew that or not. I would have gotten a telescope way sooner. Yeah, I like looking at the stars. Do you have a telescope? I don't. I wish I did. You pleb. But I can name some planets. Um, Anyways... So he took me out into <laughs> name some planets, not all nine. <laughs> no, or not eight. all nine. How many is there now? There, there's eight. Technically eight. Technically eight. Um, he took me out onto this uh, country road where there was no lights around, no nothing. It was not bleeding out the stars. So we got out of the car and we sat there for a while, and just looking at the stars and like thinking about the possibilities of space that in itself just thinking about the possibilities of like what could be in space made me want to stargaze not necessarily looking at stars that's boring okay but when you think about all the things that could be going on that's interesting i mean that is interesting i I think about that pretty often i think about it would be ridiculous if over billions and billions of years, we were the only ones that were able to come out of this cosmic jumble, jumbly pot. I don't know how would you would say that. Yeah, I mean, like, if you think about it, like, how could we be the only ones? I mean, like, that is some coincidence. Like, the only ones on the only plan- planet that's inhabitable like there's got to be other things out there because to have this planet to have been created a lot of combinations of things that had to happen for this to become what it is for this earth to become earth and i i find it hard to believe that over that long of a period of time that same combination hasn't been mimicked somewhere else yeah yeah i mean Like, think about the possibilities that, you know, as a human race, we could have if we found those other beings of life. The things that we could do. Who's to say that they're further in technology? Because it's always been this thing of yeah, yeah. That they're just so much farther ahead of us. And, you know, what if we're the, far- the furthest ahead? And we take them in and, you know, make them into another people. But that's pretty disappointing, isn't it? I mean, if we're the furthest ahead, we're never going to be able to know. That's true. If we were the furthest ahead, we got a long time. We're not seeing it in our lifetime. Yeah, no, no way. Um, But yeah, I think you're right. I mean, even if we are the furthest, I find it hard to believe that it has not happen somewhere else at least to the microbial level yeah. there's got to be life like that somewhere else mm-hmm. um actually so speaking of that um dad told me about the uh, first time that he went stargazing or not the first time he went stargazing but um he was camping with a friend and he was stargazing at the time 
and him and his friend remember seeing a flash of light. Oh, go yeah, he told me about this. Story yeah, he, he went through the sky or whatever, and it was it was too slow to be a a shooting star, but it was way too fast to be a, a an airliner, an airliner, or a jet. Yeah, I mean, it was this really bright light that went all the way across the sky. Which I mean, that's some freaky deaky stuff. Uh, yeah. I mean, a lot of people have seen stuff like that. Yeah. But that would also mean that the if that was an alien, uh, they're much more advanced than we are. <laughs> much more. And that would be a problem. Uh, well, I mean, it could be. Not but, always necessarily. I mean, if they're anything like us. That would be a problem. Yeah. That would be a very big problem. That's what Stephen Hawking said. Stephen Hawking said uh, he doesn't want to find the aliens because if they were anything like us, you know, they would just destroy us. Yeah, they could do it within, I don't know, minutes if they were way ahead of us in yeah. technology and, you know, um, genocide. Well, speaking of stargazing, one of my firsts that I was thinking about uh, was my first anime. Your first anime? Yeah. And that ties into stargazing how? It doesn't. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, you and I share this anime. Um, it's called my neighbor Totoro. It's oh not, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's I not like a the, show or anything. It's no, not, it's a movie. We were, we were. I don't remember how old, six or so, when we first watched it. Extremely young. Extremely young, uh, and w we would. Our grandma was the only person we knew that had a copy of it, and so every time we were at our her house, we watched it, um, and. I just remember you and I sitting in front of the TV and and the our favorite character was obviously Totoro, the big the big rabbit looking guy. And um we just liked the cartoon style and the and the I the story was kind of bland when you think about it. Yeah, it wasn't that great of an actual story, but I think we are more interested in like the actual like an animation and the music the music plays a very big part in anime um also uh i think just the way the characters acted yeah yeah i i liked the the laziness of totoro yeah uh i also I liked funny. those the weird faces facial expressions yeah. Um, for those of you that don't know Totoro, go online and check it out because it is a classic. A classic anime. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you would call it that. Would you call it that? An anime? It's definitely an anime. I mean, it's Japanese style cartoon. Okay. That's what I would consider an anime. I mean, yeah. unless it's like something like american cartoon like i don't know boondocks even that i would consider anime really yeah i i, I would call it an an adult animation an adult animation maybe yeah i mean like like family guy or american dad yeah yeah um just the style of animation they use looks like anime uh just like just like uh, Pokemon. That's, that's another popular cartoon. Well, that's an anime. Well, yes, it's an anime, but it's, I mean, <laughs> it's a popular show in America that is an anime. Fair. That's fair. <clears throat> Did we watch Pokemon before Totoro? You know what? We actually might have. Because... If so, that would be technically our first anime. You know what? You're right. We probably that was probably wow. Did you really think about this? 
<laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't, I didn't think, uh, I guess I didn't think of Pokemon as an, an anime. I just thought of it as a cartoon. Yeah. I mean, technically it was made in Japan. Yeah. I mean, it has the anime art style, especially yeah. the classic Pokemon. Nowadays, I mean, it looks completely different. Um, yeah, I guess that would be, I think maybe our first episode of that was the Squirtle episode. The Squirtle. Wasn't Squirtle that the Squad. very first episode? No, the no. very first one was about him uh, getting Pikachu. That's right. He had that's attacked right, that's right, that's all right. those sparrows, or the sparrows were attacking him, and Pikachu shocked them all. Yeah. Anyways, anyways, um, yeah. So actually, from from those few things, it uh, born our childhood of anime. Well, actually, our child we we did that. Probably watched Pokemon for a little bit. We didn't watch it a lot because we didn't have TV. Um, and we really only watched Totoro every, every so summer, often. every yeah. summer, because we we live away from Grandma, so we could only go there every summer. Um, we didn't get into anime until I'd say middle school. Yeah, with um. Dragon Ball Z Kai. Correct. Yeah, that was because we would we, we had just gotten TV. And um, I remember watching the commercial with you. It was about uh, Raditz. Yes. Coming yeah. to Earth. And um, we we just decided, you know, we had to watch that. We had to watch that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we did. And I remember thinking, this is amazing. We have to keep every week we had to watch it. So every week we would be at the TV at, I, I can't remember when they were released, what, seven, was, seven uh, at PM? Something, sometime in the morning. And it was on a Saturday. No, it was at night. They released it at night. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. I'm almost 100% sure they released it, <clears throat> released it in the morning. They would play it in the morning. I remember I had yeah. the, I, I was always on the Nickelodeon. What, that's where they played it was on Nick. Are you sure? Or was it Cartoon Network? It was not Cartoon Network. It was on uh, Nickelodeon. Okay. And um, I was on their website all the time, just looking at uh, release times for their episodes. Actually, they had a, a competition run um, Avatar, The Last Airbender, was a big, big hit. Uh, they were having a competition on which show was better. Mm -hmm. And throughout, I think, a whole month or a week, maybe, um, people were voting and um, and deciding which of the two were better. Between and Dragon Ball Z and Between Avatar. Dragon Ball Z and Avatar. I mean, I could tell you which... One right now, I mean, it's definitely Dragon Ball Z. Well, for sure. I mean, look at what's still running. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, it, I mean, is Korra, The Legends of Korra, still I running? I don't think so. Mm. Well, that's I for watched that franchise. maybe two or three episodes of that. I have never watched it. I just know that it's a show. It was not the same. Not the same. All right. Well, good to know. Now I'll never watch it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was, that was, I would say that Dragon Ball Z was the first anime I religiously watched because religiously. Yeah. After, after we had caught up, caught up on all of the Kai episodes, I, I went back and found some third party websites to watch mm -hmm. everything else on. And I watched everything else. I, that was when I, it was the summer of my freshman year. I was going into freshman year. Hmm. Um, and I just sat on the computer all day for a good month, just catching up on Dragon Ball Z episodes. 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's a lot of dedication. A lot of dedication. I liked it. And uh, so cringy. And I don't know why my parents let me do this, but I uh, had a Facebook profile picture. Of, I definitely of did that too. <laughs> I didn't have trunks. But you had, uh, you had uh, um, Gogeta. Gogeta. Or what's the other one? Where is Vegito? Vegito. I had Vegito as mine. Parents, don't let your kids make make internet decisions. <laughs> <laughs> At least until they're 20. Out of prebubescence. <laughs> Um, yeah, that was probably, I mean, every time I go look at my Facebook and I see those pictures, like that was a terrible, terrible choice. Terrible moment in time for us. I mean, moment in time, it was actually pretty good because like, well, yeah, uh, we had, we, we were enjoying, you know, what we were doing. It was, it was a sentimental time. It was. When I think back to that and the the way I was experiencing those things, it was it was a staple in um, not only our brotherhood, brother. <laughs> that sounds so so weird. Our relationship, our relationship as brothers. Um, it was also a big part of our our group of friends. Yeah, I mean that's kind of how we developed the group of friends that we have today kind of yeah i mean it was partially because of those things that we were into anime and video anime games. and video games uh which you know speaking of video games that's another first of our lives that has altered sculpted, our sculpted us i would say sculpted us yes i would say i would say that yeah so so i'm gonna say it. i'm gonna say it. that <laughs> Video games sculpted y you and I in a way that I don't think anything else could have. I mean, I wouldn't say it like that. Because then it sounds like we're video game addicts. I only play... Well, yeah, now I play maybe once a month. That's terrible. I enjoy my life and I play at least an hour a day. I mean, this week, not so much. I've been busy and sick. And, we'll see, but I, yeah. I've been busy for the past, you know, three years. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but for sure, video games, you know, I will always want to play them. I mean, I want to play them all the time. Yeah. But, you know, responsibilities, adulthood. So what is... The video game you're playing now. What what video game am I playing now? Yeah, like right now, like in the moment. In the, the now. most the most recent that I have played is uh Grand Theft Auto five. You you bought that? No, I did not buy it. Oh uh, Sarah Sarah's my wife, for those of you who don't know. Nobody knows because this is a first podcast and I've never said that out loud before. Uh, Sarah, I had no idea who your wife was because you've never <laughs> said it out loud. So I was lost this whole time. <laughs> um, yeah, Sarah is my <laughs> Sarah nice is my break. lovely wife, and um, we were having we just had our anniversary, and uh, we had you guys um, take our our kid, Kendallin. Who's you guys? You. And your wife. Oh. Yeah. I don't <laughs> recall because um, I couldn't do anything because of my back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll get into that later. Um, my wife and I went on a trip for not a like a vacation trip, but just a day trip. Uh, for our anniversary, we were going to different restaurants and seeing different places and when we got home, um, we were going to rent a movie to watch and it, it was at Redbox. And mm -hmm. before we checked out, Redbox told us with this movie, you get a free game for the night. And 
she would ask me, you know, do you want this? And I said, no. And she said, well, well, I'm going to take it. So she, so she looked through the games and she found Grand Theft Auto and she said, I want to, I want to drive and kill some people. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Sarah's got some anger issues. She needs to be seen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we got that and uh, we went home. Oh, the, the, the movie we got was uh, Deadpool PG-13. Oh, okay. So we watched that and then we played. Oh, no, no. We watched that, but we went to sleep because we were so tired. It was so late. Yeah. Uh, and then the next day, we kept the game but took the movie back. And the next day is when we played it. We played it for a good five hours. Five hours. Yeah. See, that's the issue is with Redbox games. By the time you get home and it's downloaded, you're ready for bed. I mean, unless yeah, you're it getting did, it in the it morning. It took a long time for it to download. Yeah. I mean, the, the games that they got in there are not small games. Like when Spider Man first came out, the newest Spider Man, mm -hmm. I was going to get it, like on Redbox for a night. I was like, okay, let me try this out. It's still on there. Yeah, it's it's probably still on there, and um, but then I was thinking like, this is probably like a 60, 60 some odd gigabyte game. I'm not gonna have time to play it because every time I'm at Redbox, it's nighttime, never there in the morning. It's why dumb. would you? Yeah, why would I? You don't watch movies in the morning unless you're eating your cereal. Before breakfast. Before breakfast. Even. <laughs> <laughs> you could you one could say. You could watch a movie before breakfast. That would be a thing we could have done if we weren't doing this podcast. Not saying I would rather be doing that. I'm telling you right now, if it wasn't for this podcast, I'd still be in bed. That is actually a fair observation yeah. of you with mm -hmm. your with your mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, with my mind. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's the beauty of what games used to be. Getting back to our first and our first things, my first game console ever i mean it wasn't necessarily a console it was a handheld device uh, the game boy color no as i mean as a family we had the, the nes okay yes at, as a family i'm talking about my first console oh your first personal my that first... you could destroy you could play or you could just leave it alone actually i still have that game boy color i got it in 2001 i believe does it still work it still works wow yeah it's pretty impressive. It is. Actually, uh, the directional pad, I think, is sketchy. A little sketchy, huh? A little a little iffy. Uh, but that was my first game console. And you don't have to. You could just plug it in and go. Mm -hmm. I mean, for handheld, it's a little different because in recent history, you had things like the DS and the 3ds and there was not much unless you went on, on online if you had the actual cartridge there was not any wait time but for the nes or the n64 those were a gem because that was also just a plug-in and go you didn't have to wait for an hour or two hours to play this you, you went to the store you got the game and you played it yeah i mean that was why can't well i know why we can't do that now well but. yeah i mean i'm not saying that it's ridiculous but i am saying it's it was a beauty it was a beauty that we were not we were not appreciating as much as we should have we took it for granted we took it for granted we took the those moments where you know you have the game in hand you're looking at the console and you're saying, I could just shove this in that hole and it would turn on so fast. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was an interesting way of explaining how you put in a game cartridge into an NES and start playing it. 
But yeah, um, actually, no, there's several times where I, I get on my PlayStation and I'll be playing, you know, Call of Duty and then, um, you know, I get bored or whatever and I still want to play a game, but then I look at my library and it, I mean, my PlayStation can't hold enough. It's only 500 gigabytes, not to mention it's already no, no, loaded with a bunch I, of I want, stuff. I want to talk about what you just said. What? It's only 500 gigabytes. Can it's, you imagine? Think about, <laughs> think about what that would have meant to us a few years ago. A few years ago, that'd still be I mean, no, I mean, not not ones. not five. A few years ago, I mean, like ten years ago. Ten years ago. About ten years ago, can you imagine saying only five hundred gigabytes? Yeah, because I mean, about ten years ago, well, we were playing Minecraft. Xbox 360. Oh, wait. 10 years ago, it was 2009. 2009. We were, we were actually just, I was in fourth grade, maybe fifth grade. Yeah, so we were probably playing um, PlayStation 2. Yeah, we were still playing play, PlayStation 2. Yeah, it, imagine 10 years ago having 500 gigabytes. Yeah. <clears throat> free of space. Imagine the games being as big as they are. Uh, well, I mean, it wouldn't have to be because, I mean, you still get the same length of, of a game, just the graphics and all the other stuff. That's what makes the game so big today is the graphics. Yeah, but I mean, for PlayStation, you'd have to have, to save a game, you'd have to have a ton of space in that yeah i mean memory card on the playstation because we had the playstation 2 slim and um one of those little cartridges that you plug in were only like 32 gigabytes that's like only half of a game today yeah imagine having to download one of those things on cartridges i would not want to no no thank you that would be terrible. No, um, but yeah, like I was saying, um, when I go to play my PlayStation and I get bored of the game that I'm playing, um, I find myself wanting to play a different game that's in my library, and it's ridiculous the amount of time I put into downloading an another game just to play it for, I don't know, a couple hours maybe. And then, like, I'm done with it. And I don't ever play it again. I I yearn for the days that we just put a, con a cartridge in and just start playing. You know, I think that they should go back to cartridges. I think that if they could find a way to... You know, I'm not an expert, and I wouldn't say that I would know how they would do this. But if they could find a way to put the game data back into a cartridge with the same everything. Mm -hmm. um, not only would that be better for uh, preserving the game, like not getting it scratched and stuff. Yeah. Well, but then you, then you talk about digital. I mean, you don't have to have anything. You don't have to. Yeah. I mean, but, and then that comes back into play downloading it just like we do now um but uh i've heard actually i'm not a hundred percent so nobody quote me on this but i've heard that the cartridges can actually hold up to a terabyte of data really it has the po it has the capability of doing it but i, I wonder what the um transferability is from cartridge to screen like how how distorted could it be the data or how fresh could it be how clear could it be right right it's a yeah. real question how clear could we make like it, a game off of a cartridge like it's usb versus auxiliary you know for audio yeah that could be the difference All right, so um, now that we've gotten completely sidetracked from uh, <laughs> your first anime, um, which was, we decided, Pokemon. 
Right, yes. Or was it Yu-Gi-Oh? Which one did we watch first, Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh? Yu-Gi-Oh was we watched after. We watched after. That we only on, got into it because it was like Pokemon. That was on um, Warner Bros. Kids, I think. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh was. Yes, it? yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Pokemon was on Cartoon Network. Correct. Pokemon was on Cartoon Network. Yeah. Um. But, 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 uh. What was your experience with with Pokemon? What what did that do for you? Um, it didn't well, do I mean, much for me. We already played the game, and we already like did the trading cards. So the show was just an additive, uh, like added feature, an added experience. Yeah, a new experience, a new take, a new fresh yeah. take. So I mean, like I had, a, I had already had a lot of interest in Pokemon. So I mean, it wasn't. Yeah, I would say that we played the game before we ever watched the show. Oh yeah, way before. Um. Yeah, that was actually my first game was Pokemon that I ever owned, Pokemon Gold. Yeah, I that mean, was my first um, game. My I, first game was Pokemon Yellow. I got I got mine from from our older eldest brother, Matthew. Matthew. He gave it to me. Well, before he gave it to me, while he was playing it, he had a level hundred Tyranitar and Lugia, or he had several of them, and because you know he had the clone cheek, but he mm-hmm. had level hundred of a lot of things. Yeah. And I got a hold of it and I deleted it because I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I was just saying uh, to, I was just looking at the device when it was on and I was like, this is awesome. And I, I was probably about five, five or six. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I was five and I um, was messing around with it. I didn't, I didn't actually play the game. I just turned the, turned the thing on because I couldn't, figure out how to start it even though it says start literally says start right on it yeah it does <laughs> um so i was just playing around and it just deleted the file i didn't know what i did <laughs> and matthew found it and he just he looked at it looks at me and he just yells mom <laughs> and um mom made me apologize unfortunately unfortunately i didn't want to yeah i mean it's not your fault no it's not my fault you I, shouldn't have laid it around he shouldn't have been should not have let it been laying around yeah what does he think it is i mean that's a precious gem right there never let it out of your sight yeah i haven't seen the thing in about a couple of years <laughs> i can't remember the last time i saw my pokemon yellow um, but yeah, that was my first game because after that, after I deleted that, that's the reason I was telling this story and I totally let it go. But, um, he gave it to me, he mm-hmm. said, I don't want it anymore. It's you useless to me. It's useless to me. I can't <laughs> do it anymore. <laughs> so he gave it to me and, uh, I played it a lot. Yeah. Every day I would say. It, I think it was, uh. A year after that you were playing your Pokemon game, uh, you you probably were five. No, you were probably six. I was definitely in school. Yeah, you were definitely in school. Um, You probably were, were six when you got that game because I was five when I got mine. Um, uh, we're two years apart, Jesse. Don't know if you know that. Yes, listen. Uh, I got mine a year after you got yours, so you would have been seven when I was five, um, and that's when I got mine. Was when I was five and you were seven. I remember specifically going to Game Freak. I don't even know if they're a company anymore. No, not Game Freak. We went to GameStop. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was Game Freak. I remember that. No, Game Crazy. 
Game Crazy. It was in the old plaza next to Safeway. There was GameStop and Game Crazy in the same plaza. I do remember that, yeah. Yeah, so they took me there. You sure that it wasn't GameStop? No, I'm 100% sure it was Game Crazy because I was sad the day that Game Crazy went away and GameStop was still there because I was like, I have memories in Game Crazy. But, I mean, growing up, I'm glad it was GameStop because obviously the better company. Anyways, so I remember a dad taking me in there because it was for my birthday or whatever. And he was like, all right, choose whatever... uh, Game Boy you want, and so I choose. I chose the the green version of of what I had of the Game Boy Color of the Pikachu edition. Yeah, that, that wait, you didn't have. So what I had was I had a in the top left corner was I believe was Pikachu, uh-huh. and the bottom right corner of the screen was Pichu for yeah. me. Are you saying that you did not have P two? You just had Pichu? no. I did. I had. I had both. Oh, okay. I had both. so it was the same as mine same was silver. One. Mine was silver, and yours was green. Green, like a lime green. And then he, I think he picked out the game. I mean, like he knew that I wanted Pokemon, but I think he picked out the Pokemon Yellow. Were you disappointed? No, I am in love with. Pokemon Yellow. We are now, but when you first pick, got it, were you like, I wish I had a cooler version? Um, no, I mean, I Yellow definitely a, thought you had a dumb version. I, you got the, it. The very first one. <laughs> you, you got it, and I said to my, to myself, uh, that's a stupid version. That's probably just because I had it and you didn't. No, I, I thought mine was way cooler than yours. <laughs> My name is Typhlosion and all the other Pokemon. Yours was a hand-me-down. Mine was a gift from the heavens of Game Crazy. Mine was a family heirloom. I wouldn't say heirloom. <laughs> <laughs> it was a piece of trash that he didn't want anymore. <laughs> no, it was definitely one of my favorite Pokemon games. Anyways, so... um. So that was your first uh, anime, and um, thinking well, in this game, we kind of yeah left I'm, the anime train, Jesse. Yeah, we did leave the anime thing. Um, so uh, saying staying in the same kind of realm ish, geek nerd like things. Um, what was your first hero? like movies or like following like who's your favorite who's your favorite first your first favorite my superhero. first okay my first superhero <laughs> experience jesse <laughs> let's let's get off the stroke okay all right <laughs> do you need to go to the hospital maybe a little bit okay uh my first superhero experience was with spider-man Spider-Man. Uh, we, which one? We watched the very first Spider-Man movie. The 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 Ramsey. Is it Sam Ramsey movies? Uh, I don't know. I I, I Ramey. Um, Something Ramey. The way that I tell apart the super, the Spider-Man movies is by the main actor. So I think Toby Tobey Maguire. Tobey Maguire. Yeah, that was our first superhero experience for me. Uh, was that movie and I just I remember when we watched it I just I it was so cool to me I it, everything that was happening I said oh whoa he's climbing up the wall he's he's swinging he's swinging on webs he can From shoot him buildings. out of his hands I yeah. was so excited and as soon as the movie was over and the credits started playing and his the the music was playing we were jumping up running around the room f- 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 punching the air <laughs> and like jumping on the furniture and you know like pretending to spray the the web go web go go web go <laughs> and Ah, it was just so. It made me feel so powerful watching that movie. 
I think, um, yeah, because stuff, I mean, obviously, that was my first experience as well, was Spider-Man, um, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, uh, but, um, Mom actually was starting to take stuff away from Matthew specifically like that because we got too wild. Matthew, our eldest brother? Yes, Matthew, our eldest brother. Uh, I don't know if you knew this, but um, for a long time, Matthew couldn't even watch Power Rangers. I did know that. Yeah, because he would just get way too hyper. And I think... He would want to hit people in the face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty he sure you it. were the victim a couple times. Maybe. <laughs> that might have happened. No. Um. Yeah, so back on track with uh, <laughs> our first um, superhero. Um. So is he still your favorite superhero today? He is my favorite superhero. Spider-Man. Yes. Tobey Maguire Spider-Man or no? Which one? Out of the three? None of the movie ones. None of the movie ones. No. Just the OG Peter Parker comic book. No, not even that. Not even my that. new favorite. It was the comic book. Mm-hmm. Um, but my new favorite is now the PS4 Spider-Man, the one that was just released. And which one is that exactly? The not the not Miles Morales, which he's probably my second favorite. Miles, Miles. Morales, he's yeah. my second favorite Spider-Man. Not but, very experienced. Not very experienced, but I like that. I, that's what Peter, not Peter Parker. That's what Spider-Man is supposed to be. It's a young kid. Young kid. So my favorite Spider-Man is Peter Parker. In, P- in the PS4 Spider-Man. But my favorite, um, I think the most accurate Spider-Man is the PS4 version of Miles Morales. Hmm, okay. I have actually not seen um, Into the Spider-Verse. You haven't? I have not. It was, it was, uh, it was okay. I mean, it wasn't, wasn't exactly what I was expecting, and it wasn't as good as I what, wanted it to be. What were you expecting? I was expecting. I don't know. I the storyline was very weird. For you know, I don't know. It was just kind of like out of the nowhere they released this movie and. And, like, I wasn't expecting much, but I definitely wasn't expecting what I got. Don't spoil it for me. I'm not. I'm I'm not. Okay? I feel like I'm going to like it. I've seen the trailer several times, and I I just like the way it moves. You just like the way it moves. Well, I mean, that is your prerogative, too. That is my prerogative, Jesse. Don't tell me what to do. You know? Yep, I... (laughs) <laughs> sure won't. <laughs> um, but yeah, that 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 would be my my favorite is the PS4 Peter Parker. PS4 Peter Parker. Uh, what what was your experience like when we watched that movie? What, what did you feel? Um, it was more of like in awe that like you know. Because I knew of other superheroes, so it was like, I was like, wow! Like, if only there was more movies like this with more superheroes, and now we have them today. But yes, yeah. But back in the day, I mean, we didn't have very much to go off of. We had just just Spider Man, really. Yeah, I mean, we didn't really have the knowledge of the internet at the time our parents didn't take it well we don't have a comic book store where we live yeah we're, we're very, around where we live yeah we're we're not very um hustle and bustle kind of town yeah we, we don't have a lot of um things that bigger cities would have like a comic book store or uh or like a game center yeah we, we didn't have that kind of thing um which I think in the long run is better 
because I feel if if we did have those things, we wouldn't have experienced some of the other things we did in our childhood. We would be maybe stuck reading comic books or at the arcade all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, because I mean, you know, I would have liked to have those movies earlier, but who's to say that I wouldn't be a different person because I had them earlier? Right. You know, don't have any regrets is what I always say. Anything you do should be something you shouldn't regret. You, you, you shouldn't regret. Yeah. I mean, pretty much. I mean, cause if you regret it, I mean, you regret the person that you are. Yeah. I mean, you should, if you, if you, uh, like Mecca's. Yeah. You should definitely regret your life. If you like Mecca's, yeah. um, you need to rethink your decisions in life. <laughs> yes. And maybe go home and uh, stop selling death sticks. Really? Yeah. You're going to say that? Uh, yeah, I'm going with that. Uh, okay. Anyways, okay. So um, right now um, is kind of around the time that we're going to go into our outro and... Uh, we're going to start winding it down. Start winding Bring it down. Bringing it back. You know, we got pretty heavy... With the, the nerd talk here, let's, let's uh, dial it back, maybe become real. Let's be real with this. And uh, let's get a conclusion going of uh, what we experienced here today. Okay. <clears throat> Anyways, so for your first, first podcast, because this is your very first podcast, correct? Yeah, yeah. So for those of you who don't know, and that would be everyone, listening to this podcast literally everybody literally everyone who would listen to this podcast does not know uh jesse is a podcast connoisseur 100 percent, huh 100 100 percent. he he has listened to podcasts since high school maybe even before that i think my very first podcast was freshman year yeah so he, he, he's been into them very, very early age. For those of you who don't know, which is everyone. Literally everyone. I didn't, was not, I was not a podcast connoisseur. I was a YouTube guy. In fact, you were almost against podcasts. I was actually, I, I did not get them and I didn't understand what they were. Mm -hmm. I just, I heard podcasts and I said, oh, the dumb thing that, weirdos do <laughs> <laughs> you know that's not what i think of when i hear podcasts when i hear larping maybe but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair i have actually larped you have larped what, what would you consider and you judge me for podcasts and you what would you consider larped? as larping <laughs> um I, role playing uh I mean, live action role play is the the name of the or is the acronym, but yeah, live action role play. But what would that entail? What would I have to do? You'd have to play a role. Somebody would have to play a different role. No, that's and, not what I did. Okay, all right. So, what exactly did you do that you thought that you considered larping? I took a sword. Uh huh. A, now, what a, kind of a sword? nerf sword? Oh, a nerf sword. Okay, and. Another guy took another nerf sword. We went into a wilderness scenery. Okay. And we started hitting each other with it. And there was no dialogue through this whole thing? Not really. It was more mainly screams <laughs> and grunts. And uh, that was it? Potentially. So basically, what you're telling me is you trekked into the wilderness with two nerf swords and another guy and just started hitting each other and screaming. that is exactly what i just told you why are you yeah yeah, yeah. Confused okay, okay, about yeah, yeah. This? okay that is ridiculous that is one of the you're most ridiculous. ridiculous don't tell me what how to live my life <laughs> anyway i'm just saying you judged me for podcasts but yet you took like what two three hours out of your day to go into the hills and start hitting each other with yeah, it Yeah, but we weren't talking about it i didn't talk about Any, podcasts i'm not I against to podcasts them. anymore i don't know why you're attacking <laughs> me i i am very podcast forward now oh yeah i i have i've have grown you've changed have, your ways i've changed my ways i've 
I've become a better person. I wouldn't say better. Okay. Anyway, um, I, I was not into it. And Jesse in high school wanted to do one with me. And I said, no, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And he practiced one with his friend. Um, I'm not going to say his name. Jose. I said it. You said it. <laughs> you are. We're going to have to edit that in post. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, he, he practiced one with Jose. They never uploaded it. But. Um, <clears throat> it was pretty trash. It, it was, was really bad. Like this one? Um, I would say it was worse. But um, really? I don't know how this one turned out yet. So. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Anyway, so fast forward of like seven years. And I, this year in 2019, a little bit in 2018, I, I have been listening to podcasts and I, I've just been thinking more and more. Actually, I only thought it recently. Um, I thought to myself, why it, this, they're just talking about stuff. Why, why don't, why don't we have this already? And I, I talked to Jesse about that, and I, I just I told him, I called him on the phone, and I said, Jesse, why aren't we already doing this? And he said, I already told you we should. <laughs> Years ago. I mean, I've been trying YouTube channels, podcasts, anything. We, I've been trying to be we, a creator with you for a long time. We've been coming up with several different ideas to become content creators, and this is the very, very first time that you and I have ever – done something sat down and actually put time and effort into becoming a content creator I mean, we have written down our ideas we've we've definitely gotten on our computers and dabbled with with some of the things that we were talking about but this is the first time that we are actually creating something yeah 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 for sure i mean which is beautiful this is, it is beautiful this is a beautiful moment in our life. You know, this is something we should have probably talked about in our first time segment. Yeah, I mean, this is our first time committing an actual because I was so nervous. I did not want to do this today. I thought there was something going to happen that would keep us from doing this. Yeah, I mean, we had some audio issues beforehand and I thought, "Oh crap, we're not going to be able to record today. We're just going to take too long to fix this." And, and we're gonna have to gonna wait. Start. We're gonna have to wait till next week, and then by the time it's next week, we're gonna be busy, and it's just gonna fall apart. It's just gonna fall apart. But now that we've started it, we've started it, and we have to now because we have a gun to our head. We have to now commit to this. Don't say that. That's literally like people will get freaked out. For this for guy, the record, Dustin is going to get shot <laughs> because we do not have <laughs> guns to our heads. If yeah, anybody correct. was actually <laughs> worried about that, we do not have ammunition about to be fired into our brains. You didn't have to go so <laughs> graphic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they can understand the concept of a gun. Well, you see, I'm just joking. I won't go into it. Yeah, let's. Because I'm know. not a scientist. I'm not I don't not, know if you have to be a scientist to know how it I'm also works. not very well versed in firearms. So Yeah, so let's, let's stop not while we're ahead. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um but yeah, this is this has been an interesting experience and I think after we go through this and edit it and upload it, we will maybe maybe be more motiv motivated or less motivated. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if it turns out really crappy, I mean, you never know how we're going to feel. We might feel like, well, this is so bad, we're never <laughs> we're doing never this again. We're never going to show this to people. But it might be just barely good enough where we're like, oh, we can we can do a little bit better. Do a little bit better. But I doubt it. Um, but, okay, so we have skipped over a couple of things um, that we probably should have addressed in the beginning of the episode. Uh. First off, we are going to be doing this every Saturday morning. Um, we're going to try and get it uploaded by uh, 8 o'clock every morning. So it, it will not be before your breakfast, but it's definitely before my breakfast. And I can tell because I'm starving. Yeah, I don't know if you heard it or not. But in while we were talking about our video games, my stomach growled. 
Really? Yes. I actually need some bacon and eggs before we actually put this up. Well, I mean, I'm going to drive to your house, and I'll let you drive to your house, and then we'll have enough time split. Okay. Um, but also, um, we are going to have this on YouTube. We're going to try and get it on Spotify and um, Apple Podcasts. Um Eventually, we want to get on anything and everything where you can find a podcast. We want to be there. Um, but um, for now, uh, go to our YouTube before breakfast um, to see all the links to our social medias. So then you can keep up to date when we are uploading or when we're not uploading. Uh, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And... Um, this has been a, an experience. Yeah. Let's, um, uh, go get some breakfast. Let's go get some breakfast. Yeah. Okay.